at a young age to join the military as a cryptologist. I think it was the only female from my high school that joined the military that year. It really was a, a life-changing experience. Unfortunately, I had injured my leg. I had a medical discharge, and I was diagnosed with PTSD. It was pretty daunting. It was pretty scary. It was almost impossible to find a job. We lost our house. I was sleeping on the floor with just blankets. My mother did the best to hide it from me, so I wouldn't exactly know that we were homeless. With the help of the VA, I found a place called the Henderson House in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was one of the first shelters to open up for women veterans and their children. Some place where you could land and regroup and be safe. Life just isn't easy. Life is hard. Being able to go through homelessness and survive it, I'm just always thankful that I was able to recover from that. When we moved to the Henderson house, he was having a hard time, and I asked him how we'd make it fun. And I thought, why not learn how to make soap? He was hooked. He just loved it so much. I realized that I was actually good at it. So I decided to help the people that helped me and my mother by donating soaps. Volunteering is important to me. I gave 10,000 soaps to the homeless. Soaps can do a lot of wonders for someone to be clean, to go into a job interview, even giving them their dignity back. I love knowing that maybe one of my soaps could be helping a kid that was going through what I was going through. Whether you go into the military or you do volunteer work, we all live in this country. We all have something to contribute. I'm extremely, extremely lucky to have you. Lucky to have you, Mom. <laughs> My mom's my hero because she focuses on other people and making sure that there are. That's one of the things that I try to continue wherever I am.